All right, school is finally out for me, so for the next few months, you'll be seeing nothing but Westfield rail fanning videos. For these two days, I decided to see some trains both at the rail park and at the McKinley Road crossing near my lake house. The evening I arrived in Westfield, I saw that CSX M367 had the 1853 New York Central Heritage Unit trailing second. I had not seen this unit yet and was very eager to catch it. I went trackside around 8 p.m. to be greeted first with CSX I-158 heading east. Sure enough, right after 158 cleared, I heard the distant horn of M367. Around 8.20 p.m., it came through with 1853 in the second position, definitely starting the weekend off on a good note. to my lake house and had this absolute monster of a campfire down on the beach. The next morning I was up bright and early and planned to spend the earlier half of the day at the rail fan park. I was going to stay there all day but the temperatures were forecasted in the lower 90s so I decided to leave before midday when the heat would get too intense. The first train of the day was a very late CSX I-162 from North Baltimore, Ohio to Port Newark, New Jersey. The train was so late today that they completely skipped their work they had planned in Seneca Yard in Buffalo, which is very rare for that train. Following very closely behind the 162 was CSX IO-20, a hotshot intermodal train out of Bedford Park, Illinois, heading to Worcester, Massachusetts. Next up is CSX M566, a little while after being released from a siding where it waited for the previous two intermodal trains to pass it by. A little while later, I heard a distant horn on the NS Lake Erie District. I ran over to the Chautauqua Creek Trestle and set up just in time to see westbound 309 come rolling through on the way from Binghamton, New York to the Busy Yard in Elkhart, Indiana.
Back over on CSX, train M267 came west heading for Detroit, Michigan. Today, the train had a cut of mixed freight on the front, which differs from the usual straight auto racks it usually has. The next train under the signal bridge is CSX M634, carrying mixed freight and empty trash cars back to Selkirk, New York, where it will handle the massive amount of waste created in New York City. After that, there was about an hour-long break in the action until CSX I-165 came west heading for Schiller Park, Illinois near Chicago with its usual CPKC power. Following the 165 West is CSX M635, the loaded counterpart to the trash train we saw earlier, carrying a full load of New York City trash west for disposal at the Sunrise Landfill in Columbus, Ohio. The near 90 degree temps were not helping for this train, and I could smell the trash for about 10 minutes after it cleared up. About 45 minutes later, CSX M364 rolled through eastbound, making their long trip from Avon, Indiana near Indianapolis all the way to Selkirk, New York near Albany. After that, another green signal finally popped up on the signal boards. This would be for the last train of the day, CSX IO-17, a high-priority intermodal train from Worcester, Massachusetts to Bedford Park, Illinois.